Ah, not a fuel. To ride the broken road in days gone, you have one bike. Your drifter bike. Take care of it, or find yourself on foot in a world where everything wants to kill you. If you damage your bike, you can do field repairs. Or, man, I'm looking for a bike. Avoid all that by buying parts with better durability. Running out of gas in the middle of nowhere opens you up to a lot of risk. Someone's here. There's fuel out there, yeah, but you're not the only one looking for it. Chasing down bounties is only possible if you've upgraded your bike's engine and nitrous boost. A quick getaway is often the difference between life and death. Night is when the freakers are most active. Don't have the stomach for the darkness? Bunk down in one of your safe houses until morning. But don't think daylight makes the world safer. It doesn't. Marauders like to set traps and ambushes, and they are a constant threat. And your bike is more than just transportation. Upgrade your saddlebags to carry extra ammo and plan for that quick getaway. And, well, if things go bad, you'll respawn on your bike. So, think ahead. The good news is that you can make the world a little bit safer. Clearing out infestation zones will reduce the swarmer count and opens up fast travel routes. Keep an eye out for Nero checkpoints. They have mobile medical units. Figure out how to get inside them. It's worth it. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. Most important thing to know about the open world of Days Gone is that it's dangerous. It comes for you all the time. It never stops. But so long as you have your drifter bike, you might just survive.